man, I am excited today because, first off, man, we are joined by a former Pittsburgh Steeler who was drafted by the squad in 2016 in the sixth round, 220th overall out of Washington University. And he is the current starting linebacker for the XFL St. Louis Battle Hawks. Without further ado, you put some respect on his last name, Travis Feeney, baby. Yes, sir. Man, <laughs> Trav, first off, bro, it is good to hear from you. How the heck have you been, man? Bro, I've been good, bro. I mean, you know, I've been doing my thing still still playing and just enjoying it man no nah, without a doubt man and did get a chance to check you out on sunday man love the fact that your spin move is still working shout out to you for that hey. but i like the energy <laughs> though man so so just talk about man how you feeling after the game i, I saw you, you like you got banged up a little bit at the end you took on a little you know you, you knock out a pull and all of a you going to the sideline man everything good oh yeah dude, dude i cramped <laughs> oh <laughs> hey, I was Come cramping. On. I was Come like, on, man. I was like, dog. I was like, I, I can't be on TV. I can't be on TV. Damn, I'm cramping. I'm like, For nah, sure? I'm gonna run off. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. But talk to me, then, man. What has the XFL experience been like for you thus far, man? Man, dog. After being through like the AAF and like the USFL, and now doing the XFL, I mean, the experience so far has been great. Like we're all, everybody's located in Arlington. We're all in different hotels. Uh, we get breakfast and lunch, and then you know sometimes coach sometimes coach buys everybody meals. And okay, all okay, it's good, good. But like the practice schedule is great. Got a lot of free time to do stuff. They give you a lot of uh, what I said, like the Rick Symposium kind of mm -hmm. deal. Remember, they do all the little yeah, heck yeah. Show you taxes, all you know, learn learn stuff, real estate. And they're they're teaching you how to uh, just really networking. Mm -hmm. It's like Brian Westbrook is like the big. Um, personnel guy who who is uh networking everything so we got like a event tomorrow like we do little zoom meetings and connect with people and call and they call us career-wise after so they take you know, a whole life that. approach then with this instead of yeah. just solely focusing on football yep nothing yep I give like you a whole that. life approach i, I like, like that. that so that's dope so what was happening in the other league? Is there like one big difference or a couple other big differences that set this league apart from the other ones you've been a part of? So I think the biggest part, I think the biggest part is really just like the fact of like letting you know, like, I mean, we all know the football ain't forever. Right. Like, you know, but like helping you prepare your next steps as you're leaving the game. I think that's the big thing with the USFL and this past, the XFL really. The USFL don't really do like this part, but they help. But the USFL did one thing: they uh, they uh, provided they pay for your school. So if you want to go back and get your masters, that was one thing they did. Okay. Yeah, so that was a big thing. So I mean, I'm also I also locked in on that. So I'm getting my masters. Man, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Take advantage you know of the resources, saying, dog, baby. Take advantage, take of, advantage of the resources. <laughs> we leaving nothing on the table. Nothing on the table, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, so, other than that, man, ball is good, man. Okay. Uh, the rules, the rules, like like the kickoff, I, I didn't like it at oh, first. that's man, crazy. Now, yeah. Dude, I like it. And I feel like the NFL should, should do the <laughs> kickoff. Serious. I saw one of the cats ran one back. Um, that I think that was on Friday or Saturday's game. Somebody took something to the crib. You oh, like it better, though. San Antonio, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, well, the contact part of it is better. Oh, oh, yeah. Speak, mm -hmm. Speaking in that sense, absolutely. Yeah. If you play right. front line of any special teams kickoff group, you know exactly what he's referring oh. to right there. That That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and kickoff return, nah, man. Forget yeah. that. <laughs> Run down there and jump in front of this dude running full speed. Yeah. Right. I'm good on that one, coach. <laughs> Yo. Yes. Yeah, so I want to go back real quick to your time in the yep. CFL. I read this on Wikipedia. You got to tell me this story. You signed with Montreal, and then they released you the same day? Dog. Is that true? This is know. true? No. I don't even know how that one happened, because I never even knew. I was like, huh, I signed to Montreal, and I didn't even know. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold we on, hold on, Chad. Talk to me, Chad. <laughs> you were signed to a team, and you didn't even know you were signed to the team? <laughs> Dog, what was you doing? Were telling me, people were telling me like, bro, you signed with Montreal. I was like, 
I'm like, what? When did I sign with Montreal? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. <laughs> I said, I said, this is nuts. People know, people know, people know I'm gonna sign before I do. Seriously. Jeez. And then they released you. Yeah, according man, to Wikipedia. Like, they released me. <laughs> they released me before even talking to me. <laughs> he said, yo, that was a transaction that I can't attest to. I can't confirm nor deny. Is this like a Lamar agent thing? Or is it like the Troy Palomalu imposter? Someone send a duplicate Dog, of right? it or something? I'm like... I'm like, what man, I asked you? my agent before at that time. I'm like, man, like, uh, dog, like, what, what, what's this? He said, I don't even know. I said, <laughs> man, you don't know. <laughs> and I don't know. Like, but something really ain't adding up, this man. Is Seriously, bro. Seriously. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know. This is bad. Yo, that is crazy. Yo, all right, all right. Well, we're glad yeah, you cleared dog. that up, though, man. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, there we go. That, that That's the answer to that question there. All right. right. That makes sense because you <laughs> don't was... see it too often where you sign a guy and then the same day you release him. Like, like maybe it's like right. a day later, but not the same day that you not signed the deal. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm always looking. I'm like, dude, people probably thought I did something stupid. Yeah. Like, like he signed man, deal dog. and it says something outlandish. Like, what did you right. do? Who would you piss <laughs> off on the way out the door? <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, all right, all right. Well, I did want to ask you too, then, man. Um, in the sense that you did just join the XFL, right? The the re um the restart of it. But there were other yep. leagues that were still at the time available or potentially starting up with the US uh the USFL and the CFL. So what was it about the XFL during this time frame that made you decide to go there versus waiting for a USFL or uh taking it up to the Canada with the CFL? Yeah, so CFL, I did it before, and mm -hmm. I ain't never doing it again. Mm. <laughs> it is it is different. That is that's a different yeah, ball. It's, it's a different game up there, uh, bro. Uh, it's a it's a different game. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I was like, we got football. That that is that's a variation of football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the but the USFL, I was they wanted me to sign back, but um, I knew a couple of these coaches from the AAF that I played with and I knew the GM here. So I saw them here and I was like, man, let me roll the dice and come back here. I mean, I could have really signed back with the team, the USFL and been fine. But I was like, let me roll the dice. And my homie, uh, Tani. Shout out Tupo, to Tani, man. Uh, Let's go. Shout out to my boy, Tani. <laughs> Shout out you know Tani, man. Right, back back so then, Tani. my AZ days, man. Pittsburgh yep. West for the coach. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so yeah, Tani's, Tani's, uh, he, he recruited me. Okay, okay. I, say, I like it. Because Tommy said that he was coming here to play, and I was like, dude, I'm good, kind of good where I'm at. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I just got to do a second year, you know? And he's like, no, bro, I'm going to play. We got to play together, you know. You know, who knows his last ride? I'm like, all right, man, let's do it. So I last ride with Tommy. And shoot, so far, man, it's been working out. I mean, you look at your stats, you're leading the team in sacks and tackles for losses. So it's definitely looking like you're having fun out there. Oh, dude, I'm enjoying it, dog. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Let's go. I'm enjoying it. What's the you know uh, what big saying? thing you didn't like about the CFL? Was it the rules or, like, how the game actually played up there or some of the stuff? off? Isn't it like they have to start six or seven Canadians, Canadians out on yeah. the field? Yep. Yeah, I'll say the biggest thing I didn't like about it was the politics of it. Mm, okay. Like, I don't even care about keeping it cutting real. Like, yeah. it's just, dog, they want, they're definitely, like, locked in to certain people. You know, uh, you always get that, but not, yeah. like, the CFL's on a different level. Like, you're literally just playing Canadians because you kind of got to two with numbers, mm. and they know Americans are going to leave. If they can, they're there to get some film and get out. Yeah. So I mean, other than that, the game, the game itself was cool. I didn't like the one yard off the ball. Hey, you gonna test that get off up there now? Come on, dog oh, <laughs> man. They go test that get off. <laughs> I'm like, dude, this dude's already. This dude is already. Right. He's already three steps sliding. Like what? <laughs> no, I must say that part is definitely. Definitely was different, man. Yeah, well, other than that, man, it was it was cool, but there's like no really fandom, like no fans, like so it's just really bring your own energy every game. I said that like the environment itself. Mm. 
But yeah, other than that, I mean, you're still playing ball, but like that was the only big thing about CFL that yeah. like for sure. For sure. Well, coming back to the XFL though, we definitely see y'all do got fans out there that do seem to be Man, they, they St. Saint Louis. Oh, bro, I was about to say St. Louis is like being back hey, in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I'm gonna say they be turning out, but I was like, okay, I, I see what's going on. I see the fans. Okay. Oh, fans be crazy. Yeah. Making shirts of people and right. everything. <laughs> I'd be like, dang, okay. And shoot, man, I know you had referenced, you know, just the feel of it feeling like it was back in Pittsburgh, but on your team, the St. Louis Battlehawks, y'all have Stiller ties. Bruce Gatkowski, your offensive coordinator, former teammate of mine, man, my played in teammate. Pittsburgh. Come on, bro, you know what <laughs> it is. Former yeah. Former team. <laughs> and then, and then Mateo Durant, he's a young guy. You missed him, but he was just with us this offseason. So, you yep. know, when you talk about the Steelers connection, man, have y'all guys had a chance to talk about that and bond? I know I saw you post a picture with uh, with Peasy the other time, man, when y'all played against San Antonio and stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, man, we talked about it. I talked about it. Uh, talked about our experience <laughs> with Trobe and all that. I said, oh, man. The late Trobe battlegrounds. Come oh, on, man. man Latrobe. <laughs> oh, man. Latrobe, Latrobe. <laughs> man. But yeah, nah, man, he he he's doing good. He, he's yeah. gonna be, he he's got some, he's got a little burst to him. Yeah, no, I like that, I like man. But yeah. even when you think about just around the league, you have a ton of NFL caliber guys. I mean, obviously AJ McCarron, your starting quarterback, played in Cincinnati, played in Buffalo. But you look at the amount of NFL guys. Do y'all take pride in that? The fact that, yeah, we're in this league, but man, we all bring a certain level of productivity a certain level of um just polishing this you know to the uh to the right. game right i mean you definitely do especially like for me especially when you're like if you play a team and they got a big amount of nfl vet guys you know like guys that have been in the league for five mm-hmm. six years and they're playing it's like okay you definitely want to step it up in those i mean you're going to step it up every game but i mean you know how it is the competitive level like when y'all playing against a more higher experienced guy, like it just it gets your energy going, gets you just feeling like you're actually doing something. And not 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 to knock people that haven't had any experience at all or anything. I mean, yeah. I haven't had much, but you know, but like it feels good to see like it's not like, oh man, there's just nobody in this league. Right. Like, no, oh, no there's y'all boys. got some names, there's dude. Boys there's some dudes league, out yeah. there. Let's <laughs> some dudes in here, like, yeah. So I mean, it's just it's just good to see and like people really just love seeing everybody eat. Yeah, like, honestly, that's the big thing. Have you thought about doing something else for your career with you going through different leagues over these last, you know, five six years? Yeah, I mean, I've I've been uh, I've been trying to get into the analyst role. Let's uh, go. I made a couple connections. Let's with go. Five. And then talking to those guys, and then I uh, talked to the Pac-12 Network, some people. So I gotta uh, gotta chop it up with Moti and y'all and more. <laughs> hey, hey, you know I'm gonna get you right, man. You know, hey, you know I got your back, partner. You already Hell know, yeah. baby. You already know. Come on, now. Huh? But no, nah, well, yeah, man. Other than that, man, uh, I've been working on getting my little my little training certification, mm-hmm. and a little side hustle. You know what I'm saying? While I'm training and stuff, doing stuff. What made you want to stick with the leagues and, and playing football? Yeah, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, if anything just crazy happens, like I, I, I get called. But we'll yeah. see. That that'd be the biggest thing. But if not, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it's good here. I mean, why not make some money? Hey, ain't nothing wrong. And you mean by that. getting called, like going back to the NFL? Yeah, I mean, I hope <laughs> it's a long hope, but hey, who knows? But the big thing is, man, you got to get the tape. And that is the one thing that you guys get the opportunity to with the XFL. And that's what makes the league unique in that sense, man. Right. No, without a doubt. So what would you say, too, man, talking about the XFL, what would you say has been your favorite part of it thus far? Mm. Man, I say, dog, the favorite part of it is just honestly, like, I mean, it's just like the league playing against your boys that you've played against on other teams. And it's like. Just seeing, like, you see some guys are still, like, journeying it through. Mm-hmm. And it just, like, after games, like, there's, like, a legit, like, hey, man, like, you did your thing, acknowledgement, and, like, people talking about the game to each other, breaking each other's 
game and skills down or people helping each other out. So, I mean, that's, I think it's just the camaraderie of the league itself. Yeah. Is a big thing. And then in contrast, if you were the owner, if you were the big boy, you know, the oh. rock, which people's eyebrow and all that stuff. Oh, if, dog. if there was something that you could change about the XFL, is there anything that you would change? Mm. Man, what would I change? My only change I would do is I would have the guys in the cities that they're, that the the teams are playing at. Oh, versus everybody being in Arlington. Okay. Ooh. Versus everybody being in Arlington, but obviously that's a money situation. Yeah. But if they could, I would do that. And you know. As a player, you always want more money. So more money. <laughs> I was going to say you could, you you are not wrong if you said money. I was just yeah that is that is definitely an answer. All right, it's definitely an answer, man. <laughs> it was like all right, it was like I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to ask this. I'm gonna wait to just say money. But uh, yeah, you know yep. I, I I like the food. The food's good, man. The, the hotel situation is all right too. But but money, yeah. You know, j- 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 yeah give me another one and up. <laughs> give us some more money than uh no uh. No roommates. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I mean, I'm good. I got time, so I'm good. Facts. But, you know, some people, man, hey, man, you, you just got a bad roommate. You got a bad roommate. This is true. Now, now, speaking of bad roommates, I don't know why, but this made me think of, y'all did have a little situation with a quarterback, not on your team, but it was somebody selling plays in there, if I remember correctly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this? The, the one dude got booted for yes, selling plays to the other Orlando, team. The, oh, it, was it was the, the backup quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> what, what was? Can we get a little info on that situation? <laughs> and did you receive any information <laughs> versus you know? Anyway. First, first, first I, mean, I did not receive any information. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, that's, that that's the first thing that's good to know. That's the first thing that's good. Deke has integrity. He has integrity. All right, shout out. Shout out. That's, that's really good to hear. It's really good to hear. Uh, second, is crazy because that dude's now starting and he's doing good. Oh, what? <laughs> that's what yeah. we thought. We thought yes. it was sabotage by that dude to try to get Paxton dude, Lynch benched the, so right. he could be the starter. Yeah, that's the quarterback and he's right, playing. Bro. He's actually playing decent. Yes, yes. Because we saw they had released him, then they brought him back, then they put him on this like active, inactive list. We're like, oh, yo, what is going on? And then we're we like, yo, he was selling plays. He was telling on. the plays. <laughs> we still we still trying to find out what happened. Bruh. People that is are asking, crazy. Like, what? Yeah, we, we felt like if you're Paxton Lynch, you should feel some type of way. Cause that was sabotage, man. It was but I'm up- like, man, in our league, like you can't <laughs> sabotage plays because you can hear it on the mic. Oh, it, it, this is also true because whatever they call it, it's a call that's called Bronco, and it's always the zone right to the left, bro. They, <laughs> they, they literally, it's the, you can hear them say, say, Bronco, Bronco. I'm like, bro, it's coming this way. It's, I promise it's coming this way, bro. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm like, they break it down, and then the analysts yeah. break the whole play call. I'm like, hey, I'm like, okay, I'm going to just watch the TV versions when I watch film. Hey, that is crazy, bro. <laughs> that is crazy because you definitely hear it, though, without a doubt. Oh, you hear it, like, Every every single thing. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> I like it. I like it there. All right. Well, I did want to spin it black. Oh, uh, spin it back too. When you first came out, though, man, that NFL draft story. Because obviously, we know, man, it's a heavy Steelers podcast, man, and people always want to hear the stories about how you came about joining the squad, man. So if you could, man, just take us through your NFL draft story, man, when you were coming out of Washington. Oh man. I'm telling we wind skinny, that clock back, baby. Come on now. Skinny, skinny Trav. Oh, Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. With, with the fro. That, that one. Yeah. With the fro. Yeah. With the fro. I still got it. I'll be peeping. I'll be like, yup, yup. It's, it's still, it's a little longer now, though. Shout out. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Man, dog. I still remember draft day. Supposed to have a draft party. The fifth round went by. Man, I went to my room. I told my mom. I said, man. <laughs> Y'all might as well shut this draft part down because I ain't going. <laughs> said, it it I happens ain't to the coming. best of us, bro. It happens to the best of us, man. Oh, I said I ain't going. I'm good. I'm literally sitting on the toilet, not even going to the bathroom, just sitting there. <laughs> you having a pity party in the bathroom? <laughs> Dog, I'm, oh, having, I'm, I'm losing it in the bathroom. I'm, I'm hot. <laughs> I went to the bedroom. I can respect it. I can respect it, though. All right. <laughs> Dog, Coach T calls me. 
Coach T calls me. He's like, yeah, it's Coach T with the Steelers. But, you know, I've had friends, like, call me oh, messing course, around. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Okay, man. That's I'm a like, thing. That is definitely him. a thing, man. <laughs> Good impersonator. Oh. He'd be like, bro, don't oh. call my phone don't on draft. Phone. Don't call me, bro. Don't call me. <laughs> uh, Coach yeah. T called me, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, we're the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. We're about to draft you. I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> whatever. This is a fake call. <laughs> Like y'all not drafting me, like whatever. I'm like, okay. I'm, I, I remember he's like, okay, like we're really drafting. Just come see. I'm like, all right, then stay on the phone and we'll, and we'll see you until the draft. And he's like, if you go draft me, they still the phone to prove it, punk. How about that? Dog, and I'm sitting there, and my mom's like, my mom's like, what's going on? I'm like, man, what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You got to see something. And then like, boom, he's like, <laughs> the pick goes up. I said, oh. I said, oh, crap. <laughs> I said, this is the first experience I did. <laughs> oh, no. Your first impression with Coach T is, man, it ain't really. You ain't trying to hit this. You dr- oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I became a pistol. Oh, man. I said, that's, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh go. yeah Let's go. I, I don't think I ever told you the story No but the funny thing is though I feel you on that man I had the draft party myself <laughs> Them rounds was going by Got to the fifth a punter got taken I lost my mind I went to my room <laughs> yep. I, I had a pity party I was in the room with the door shut Like yo the draft is over don't call me I, I'm done <laughs> The phone rung. I'm like, it was really you? Like, are you sure? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> but I, I I, I was looking for any hope. So when the phone did ring, I was just like, it was got to be real. Because I ain't recognize the numbers. You, you funny. That boy said, if it's really you, stay on the phone there. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to confirm. I had to confirm with validity. Hey, yo, that was funny, bro. That was funny. <laughs> I can respect it though, man. I can respect it because you need that confirmation, man, without a doubt. And uh, obviously, man. So. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I wasn't Dude. ready for that one, bro. I was not ready. That's a heck of a first impression. So yeah. So obviously, man, you come to the team, man. What was that like for you though, man? Because I know from my perspective, man, you coming in, the young guy. You were hurt a lot though. And that was the, you know, the yeah. big issue and stuff like that. But just from your perspective, man. What was your time with Pittsburgh like, though? Man, honestly, like, at first, man, I mean, I was quiet. and I didn't really talk. Man, mm-hmm. I was trying to find my way. Like, honestly, I was just felt kind of lost. And then I, I felt like I was I was too small at my position I was at. And I was like, man, I was like, ah, well, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. See what's going on. And, I mean, honestly, like, honestly, until, like, I started chopping up with you and, like, got under your wing, like, I mean, everything went a lot better for me, like, learning from you and stuff. No, I respect, like, man. Having you know, somebody, it's like, Yeah, having somebody in the meeting room that I was, like, legit, genuinely cool with. Yeah. And I was like, that was a big thing for me, dog. Like, you helped me out my whole my whole year. Hey, man, shoot, Jake, yeah, yeah, man. You know it's all love. I was trying to be yeah. athletic like you. You you the new wave. That's you see it. You look at what these linebackers looking like now. It's athletes in space. We was literally just talking about this. Everybody's yeah, an everyone athlete. Looks like yeah. safeties. Everybody. Like yeah. that's what you look like when you came. It was like, bro, this he looked like you're inside, but they got him at outside. But it's right. rangy. That's, <laughs> that's what we kept that saying. It's like, me. yo, that's it, what I was. It's supposed I was to be there, but it's here. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get to inside and they was not moving me. Nah, they definitely were. <laughs> I said, dang, man, y'all ain't going to let me go. <laughs> no, without a doubt, man. And if you could, man, if you had a, a favorite lesson or a moment that you had, man, with either Coach Tomlin or Peasy, shout out to Joey Porter, man, that you wanted to share too, man. Just talk about that as well, man. Man, I'll say the biggest, <laughs> the biggest lesson I learned is the, <laughs> to not get <laughs> To make sure you wake up from a rookie party. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> did, yo! I totally forgot you did. Oh, what were you doing, <laughs> bro? That... I think we gotta hear this, Deke. He he got Dog. lost in the sauce, Deke. Deke I got the lost rookie party. The... He got lost in the bro. sauce, bro. Everybody bro. knows the rules on the rookie party. We gonna go out. We gonna turn up. We gonna all have a blast. But you have got to show up to work the next morning. This is doing oh, the bye week. Damn. It's doing the bye week, though. Special it's the bye week. And team meeting. Bro, was go- we're like, yo, I don't know where he's at. And we're all looking like, yo, hit his phone. Hit his phone. Like, yo, I don't know. It's like, and yo, we all got dead. home. Phone died. Oh, so God. no one can get in touch with him, bro. 
meetings are going on. We're all just looking like, yo, he was with us. I swear everybody was good. <laughs> yes, bro. Yes. <laughs> yes. He missed it. I had all of us on. Bro, yeah, man. <laughs> it was like it was a lot of, you know, conversations going on about how we need to have parties going forward, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> yes. yes. What, man? Yeah, I do remember that now. Come on, man. <laughs> and then after that, then after that. Then you know, that I never go in with the ones or never go in. <laughs> and then they threw me in. They threw me in. I did good in my first two plays. And then the third play, like nobody gave me the car or something. I messed up. <laughs> and Bus is just oh dude, he's just letting me rip. Losing ripping his one into the mind. And all y'all yes. laughing on the side. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> Everybody's like, hey, Trav, you smell, man. You look like you're kind of drunk. Like, oh, <laughs> he's sweating on, heavy man. off the pores. We like, bruh, you got it. You got Dog, it. Crew I'm panicking. Is, bro. <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm trying to tell everybody, like, bro, leave me alone. I'm panicking. Like, bro, my team probably going to cut me off this. I'm, I'm sweating. Bruh. <laughs> I totally forgot, bro. That was a tie. <laughs> that was when that was when Hawk and Gerald. Uh, Hawk yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, shout out the Hawk. Wait, so, okay, the so Hawk. you you Hawk. made it or late? No, late. no, no, Someone... no. He had missed the morning parts okay. of the meetings. He just I came to work meeting. like later. Uh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, he gotcha. just came late, and then we were going out to practice because during the bye week, we know we're gonna have a condensed schedule. But the reason we do the party then because as vets. We're not practicing. And it's yep. kind of like our little right of pass to the young guys. We're going to get you to Got turn you. up, get you, you know, make crazy decisions. Then we want you to turn around <laughs> and show up at 8 in the morning for work and go practice. And we're going to be on the sideline rehydrating while we laughing at y'all sweating. He yep. just overslept. <laughs> he never <laughs> <not> overslept. <laughs> that was the issue, man. With, with, yeah. Did the phone die while you're, is that what yeah, it was? Yeah. No alarm? So we couldn't, we no, couldn't even call him. Nothing, bro. Wow. Yeah. No, I remember I woke up and I was just like, I had Hawk knocking on the door. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Because he was hurt. I said, oh, was boy, it was on injury reserve is... at the time, so he wasn't uh, showing He's a up. real one, though. Yeah. No, he, he yep. brought him in. Hawk is a real one. That boy yeah. saved me. But everybody else in the meeting is like, bro, he has to be here by practice. That's all we know. Because <laughs> we've seen guys miss meetings, and it's like, all right, he's going to get in trouble. He's going to get fined. He's going to get fined a lot. He might get cut. It's like, all right, we get that. But no one misses practice. <laughs> Oh, dude, you cannot practice, miss yeah. practice. That's like the ultimate notice. We're just like, yo, we checking the clock. Like, bruh, he has got to show up. He's got to. But then he made no, it. I and he was, had man, that look I on his face, Deke. Deke, if you could have seen I his face I'll... when he walked in, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> man. It was yeah. bad. Yeah. That was the time, I bro. thought I was going to get hit smooth for like a 5K. Yeah. I said, man, please don't hit me with this far. Man, you remember that day Artie Burns got hit? Yeah. <laughs> I remember hey, Artie, and then he hit to it. He was hitting them both for the five yeah, like it was nothing. It. He was just five. Five. We're like, bro, you're doing what? <laughs> like you you finding people 5K for that? Like, yo. He's like, I got the discretion. I'm going to hit you to the max. I'm proving a point. And y'all remember the yeah, 16th boy, season? Said. We had a rough time at the beginning of it. Then we all got in order. That was yeah. why. <laughs> It was money getting, yeah, yeah, heck yeah, man. He told Artie, he said, Artie, man, you, you ain't AB, but you want to keep <laughs> like, here you go. Because <laughs> we know AB. AB was showing up how AB shows up. You can't find AB because AB money too long. Law yep. dog, law dog money too long. L belt money too long. So we respect that. Artie is the rookie. It's like, bro, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> No, that was he definitely, when he was pushing 5Ks, like, it was nothing like, here, I'm going to hit you for five right now. Like, oh. He was feeling himself, because that was his rookie year, Yeah, right? yeah. He was yeah, playing yep. good at that, that point. Was yeah. He was it. yeah. Dude. Wow. That's Those are definitely some life lessons right there for everybody that was at that. some major life lessons right there, though. Major yep, life lessons, major man. Life lessons. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> well, shoot, man, the last one we got for you, man, before we let you go, we know that the big boss, man, of the XFL is The Rock. Now, WrestleMania was just yesterday. I'm into the wrestling stuff, so I fanboys out when obviously I seen The Rock come out there and drop that promo. But I yep. have to know, have you had any interactions with the man? What's the man like? <laughs> man, I ain't interacted with him yet. I'm oh, mad. <laughs> man, come on, man. <laughs> I interacted with Danny, though. Okay, 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 okay. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. <laughs> Danny Garcia, she's, she's super cool. She's nice. Let's go, let's super go. Super cool, nice. 
and that was about it. <laughs> I, I didn't get it. I, I was like, oh, so dude, no, is it in, the, in, the, in the convos, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like, no, I just no, cool. He's like, that was no, it. Just, just a quick, <laughs> just a quick thing. No, I respect, <laughs> respect. Nah, man, the rock, the rock, the rock. When he came to the thing, man, he was all like security out. Serious. Mm. Like at our uh, at our little rally event, yeah, he was all sectioned off. I was like, oh, well, he ain't trying. To... I thought he was gonna be over here, like, yo, man, everybody vibe up with me, man. We doing people's eyebrows and people's elbows. All right, you know that's what, what I was mean? anticipating, I was like, man. I thought, I thought, mm. I was no, <laughs> but nah, yeah, nah. Ah. Well, respect, then respect. Well. That is all we have for you today, man. But we do know you got your game coming up, man, against the Vegas Vipers. So you do your thing. We know. In fact, Tay play with Vegas too, man. So ta- ta- tackle Tay a couple times if you get that rock out there. All right. Okay, for sure. Let's go, bro. But hey, as a whole, man, always appreciate you. You know it's all love, bro. I appreciate y'all having me, my dog. Thanks, bro. All right, bro. All right, later, boys. <laughs>